DC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, hey, it's Saturday evening and it's time for Dave's Tag. Uh, ten questions and I have just noticed I'm, I'm drinking a whiskey, which is a Writer's Tears, which is an Irish whiskey. And then I've just seen the questions. <laughs> All about drinks or whiskeys or things like that. So let's see. Hmm. Question one. Favorite bourbon <clears throat> and Tennessee whiskey. <clears throat> I don't know much about Tennessee whiskey. <clears throat> bourbon. Uh, Elijah Craig or Buffalo Trace. <clears throat> Be frank, I'm not not much of a bourbon <clears throat> drinker, so if you uh, if you were expecting me to say Jack Daniels, well, I could have, I suppose. I mean, I do have, I guess I do have a bottle of that as well somewhere. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's question one. Question two. Favorite Scotch whiskey? Wow, that is such a hard question to answer. Um, there's just so many, and I do have, actually, I mean, I'm not, I don't have as good a stock as, uh, uh, Fequig, so Andy, but I have a pretty good stock of whiskey. So let me see. Probably a Ben Romack 10. But then again, there's just so many others. There's just so many others. Uh, I'm just probably throwing that out. Uh, but I like the Ben Romack 10. <clears throat> let me see now. What is the next question? Question 3, your favorite Irish whiskey. Oh, um, uh, let me see now. In the Irish whiskies, there's the Powers, the John Lane. Then there is um, the Red Breast, Red Breast 15 would be a really good one. Then all the Oh, goodness sakes, there's just so many again. Well, leave it at that. I mean, and actually one of the reasons I kind of have, uh, have a weakness for the red breasts and the... There's different one. The one called Yellow Spot also I love really much. And they're they're uh, actually they're distilled uh, in County Cork. Um, and I had a really nice visit actually with different distilleries over in Cork. Yeah, so Irish whiskey is always nice. Uh, let me see. Number four, your favorite rye whiskey. I am not really all that knowledgeable on rye whiskey. I remember when we, we lived in Canada, um, we would have what we would call rye, which basically I guess you would call rye whiskey. But it really wasn't... Uh, I wouldn't call it a favorite. It was just something that you had. People would say, do you want a rye? And some people would call it rye whiskey. Um, there was one in Quebec called saint Eger, <laughs> which is probably something that you could, I don't know, uh, remove paint with or something. I'm not quite certain, so I don't know. Let's say that one. Um, okay. Your, uh, your favorite brandy. I don't have a particular brandy. I have some brandy, which I use mostly for for cooking probably. Um, nope. Don't really say I have a favorite brandy. Uh, brandy and cognac were very fashionable at a period. Then whiskey became very fashionable and right now you've probably noticed that gin is what's really in right now. Okay, favorite, question six, favorite red wine. Now I live in Europe. There's red wine everywhere. There's wine everywhere. Uh, and you know depending on the social functions you have to be very careful now um, I've always loved French wine certain French wines which I can't pay for anymore the Swiss wines some are really really good I mean the Swiss wine is really underrated in the world because us Swiss we drink it all so wines from the Valais region as far as the red wines go or uh, certain Spanish red wines, for example, the Faustino family. 
they're quite good. But the higher end ones of them, yeah. Or a Marquisa Riscal, uh, which is a really good uh, Spanish wine also. But, uh, you know, the, the Swiss wines are right up there if you know them. They've got their own uh, type of grapes and everything. But you've got to come to Switzerland. Yeah. Ah, favorite right white wine. Favorite white wine. Actually, the Swiss white wines. The, uh, the Chasselas and some of those, and some are really, really nice. I know some will say, uh, yuck. That's because you've just had Swiss wine, which you've you know, in the export stuff. Uh, otherwise, overall, um, a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc can be really, really great with, with fish. I really like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Favorite other wine? Hmm. Favorite other wine? Certain Portuguese these rosés, for example, can be quite nice, but I only say certain of them because some of them are really crap. Um, okay, favorite beer? Oh, beautiful! Uh, I was almost going to say any beer from the microbreweries in Cork. Yeah, in Cork, Ireland, you got to go there. Yeah. The ones that you'll get at the Franciscan Well, uh, Rising Suns, over in Cork. Some of those are really unbeatable. And they have just so many. Yeah. I like IPAs there, but they have just such a variety. IPA, though, is something I like a lot. Uh, favorite liqueur? I'm definitely not a liqueur fan. Uh, but we do have something that's made with prunes here. Again, it's a Swiss thing. It's called Vieille Prune, which would mean old prunes which basically are, are prunes, or actually also there's something like that, vieille poire, which is made with pears. Those are really, really nice, actually. Yeah. It was a, a drinking tag, or not a drinking tag, but kind of interesting. Okay, seven minutes, more than long enough to talk about, about this. So DC signing off. Take care, everybody, and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.